Okay, so Stand Up to Cancer has been raising money for cancer research for the past 15 years with eight televised fundraising specials and a new one coming this weekend. And they have funded research into early detection, also treatment breakthroughs across all cancer types. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here right now with the very latest on what researchers are looking forward to in the coming years. Exactly, Karen and Damon. You know, when we say cancer, we're really not talking about only one disease. And the idea that it is more than one disease gives rise to the approach that anyone's cancer can be thought of as unique to them. And that gives rise to a rapidly growing research direction that personalizes cancer care. To get a sense of where cancer care was heading, I sat down with Dr. David Kwan, the physician in charge of the Henry Ford Health Brigada Harris Cancer Pavilion. What is the future in your mind of detection and therapy for cancer? We are learning so much more about tumors than we've ever had. We're able to translate it back into the patient so that we actually have markers that we're looking for in our blood that really will help detect these harder to find cancers, traditionally like pancreas cancer or brain cancer. We do believe with the evolving technology that we are on the cusp of getting very close to having a yearly blood test that we could utilize. We're able to see individual people and realize that they have a very unique signature of their own cancer that we're able to identify. And we are becoming much more sophisticated as the technology evolves with our ability to identify more mutations that actually make a breast cancer, a lung cancer very unique. And as we do so, we're also able to develop new drugs that target these specific defects or mutations that actually allow us to have a much more targeted treatment plan that is specific to the patient versus what we did 25 to 50 years ago where we gave chemotherapy that we thought would just be generally useful. He always has to put on protection and care is full of hope for everyone, but this can really only happen with research and funding. Now, certainly if you have an oncology center that you are associated with, directed donations are always welcome, but Stand Up to Cancer is a simulcasted fundraiser over all the major networks this Saturday at 8 p.m. And it really is a tremendous opportunity to help fund nationally recognized oh, programs. So okay, so what, tell me more about this blood test. So it's gonna to try to find hard to find cancers, but how, Likely, how long is it going to take to get this test approved? Yeah, well, it's not going to be immediately available. It's actually probably quite a ways off. But, you know, it's interesting. Dr. Kwan and I were talking, and he can envision a time in the future where we might get an annual blood test to screen for cancer, oh. and hopefully we might be able to be very specific about what type of cancer it is. So in the future, you might go in for your cancer test wow. and find out that you have a higher possibility right. of breast, ovarian, pancreatic, whatever cancer, huh. and then we would be able to chase it down. Wow, that would be some great news. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Doc. Sure. Thanks.